This week on the LTU Sports Report, we get into all the spring sports action and get to know some of our Blue Devils. We've got highlights from all of our teams competing down south over spring break, the tip of the week from our red hot softball team, and a special feature with our good friends over at Zenith. Don't go anywhere because the LTU Sports Report starts right now. LTU Sports Report is brought to you by Varsity Brands, elevating student experiences in sport, spirit, and achievement. The city of Southfield, the center of it all. Michigan First Credit Union, Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust and striker. Discover your strengths and follow your passion with us. Hey everybody and welcome to the LTU Sports Report, the only show in the nation covering an NAIA school's athletics exclusively for Lawrence Technological University. I'm your host, Gabe O'Neill. And I'm Jenna Skelsky. It's spring break here at LTU, which means our sports teams are hitting the road to play in nice warm weather. But don't worry, we have plenty of highlights coming your way for the next half hour. That's right, we have a double dose of men's lacrosse taking on Montre and Cumberlands in West Palm Beach, Florida, where the women's team is also competing against Kaiser, and we take it to Bluefield, Virginia for some men's volleyball. We have a lot to go through, including a special feature with our proud football partner Zenith, and of course, the tip of the week. But we're gonna get the ball rolling with our baseball team, which is down in Florida for a pair of games. The LTU baseball squad was out in sunny Naples, Florida for a doubleheader matchup against the Gyrenes of Ave Maria University. Jumping into the third inning with the Blue Devils at bat, second and third base occupied by freshman Nick Allen and Andrew Nepchuk with Jared Roth at the plate. The junior drives it into right field down the baseline, bringing in both runners Ave Maria with answer in the bottom of the inning, and we were tied at two. Up to the fifth with the boys now down a run. Nepjuk in scoring position after stealing third and Roth up to bat. A low pitch gets away from the Gyrenes catcher and Nepjuk is able to score on the pass ball. Game all tied up after five. Blue Devils in a tough pinch in the bottom of the sixth. Base is loaded, two outs and down by one. The Ave Maria batter makes some contact but junior shortstop Ryan Robinette is all over the one hopper and throws the runner out to end the inning. Final inning of the game, freshman Luke Moore set on at second. Roth back in the batter's box, and he makes his presence known with an absolute bomb over the right field fence. The two-run homer gives LTU a 5-4 lead. Just two batters later, sophomore Jackson Walkawiak was up and was looking to extend the one-run lead. He follows up Roth with another deep ball over the left field fence. LTU led 6-4 to four into the bottom of the seventh. But Ave Maria would have the last say and make it count as a base hit to center field would drive in the winning run. The Blue Devils drop a neck-and-neck -neck battle with the Gyrenes 7-6, to six, the final score from Naples. In the second game of the doubleheader, the boys were looking for some revenge on that close loss. Starting on the mound for the Blue Devils was sophomore Alex Wartowski with senior Max Cadman behind the plate. The Gyrenes got out early with a one-run lead and now had runners on the corners in the third inning. A short hit in front of first is played by Walkowiak. He rifles it to Cadman who gets his glove down in time to get the sliding runner out at home. LTU would close out the inning on the next two batters. Up to the fourth. Golden Glove winner right fielder Sean Fannin at bat with a full count. The junior drives it into left center just out of reach of the left fielder and he gets the stand up double. While Koyak was at the plate next, the lefty cracks one right down the middle and through the gap that would bring Fannin around third for the score. The sophomore's RBI ties the game up at one apiece. Roth was at bat next and he would watch the fourth ball go by for the walk. Blue Devils now with two on and two outs. While Kowiak stole third base and was now in scoring position, Logan Barker strikes out at the plate, but Roth goes to steal second. He's safe. Then while Kowiak forces the Aaron throw to third, and he would waltz on home with no threats. LTU takes the lead 2-1. to one. But Ave Maria would respond in the bottom of the inning in a big way. After driving in three runs already, the bases were once again loaded. The Jirene batter sails one deep to the center field fence, and that sends all three runners around the infield to score. 
Ave Maria would go on to put up two more runs and keep the Blue Devils at bay to win the doubleheader with a final score of 9-2. Hey everyone, I'm Spencer Iaquino. After the commercial break, we take you down to West Palm Beach, Florida for some men's and women's lacrosse highlights, and we get to know one of our Blue Devil student athletes. Don't go anywhere, we will be right back. Southfield truly is the ideal place to live, work, and play. Well, it's a very uh, exciting time in the city of Southfield. Great neighborhoods, great city services, and Fortune 500 companies. Southfield has something for everyone. Recognized as Michigan's premier business address, home to world-class educational institutions, voted one of the nation's most livable metro area suburbs. Southfield is the center of it all. We're getting reports that you have over 40,000 flavor combinations. That's right. May I examine one, ma'am? Is this real cheese? 100% real mozzarella, officer. Explain this dough. Made fresh daily. I'm gonna have to confiscate this as evidence. Aren't you a mall cop? All units, someone's in the fountain. 10-4, tiger on the prowl. Flavor fanatics will do anything for our one-of-a-kind flavored crust pizza with meal deals for every budget. Hungry? Howie! Fanuc America is the number one supplier of robots, CNCs, and factory automation. Our certified automation training prepares students for high-tech careers in advanced manufacturing. Manufacturers use automation to maximize productivity. That's why high-paying careers in advanced automation are in demand today. Our CERT program provides manufacturers and educators a STEM-based curriculum centered on robotics and automation training. Contact FANUC to learn more about our certified automation training programs. Welcome back, Blue Devil fans, and get ready for some spring break lacrosse action as both our men's and women's teams compete in the Sunshine State. Let's get to it. The Blue Devil men's lacrosse team was at Kaiser University for their spring break trip in the warmth of West Palm Beach, Florida, taking on Montreal College from North Carolina. Kicking things off for LTU after getting down too early in the game was Aiden Nolan. The sophomore attackman gets the cross crease pass from freshman Maverick Musket and buries it despite taking a big hit. LTU cuts the lead to one. Second quarter and the boys in blue were taking over, now up by one and on the move. Senior captain Brennan Olds drives the right alley and feeds Musket right next to the net for the quick stick goal. Blue Devils up five to three. It wasn't all offense, however. The big man between the pipes, Captain Joel Trent, had a solid day only allowing three goals. Here he is making a huge stop on the doorstep and then hustling to the sideline after the ball to win the chase for possession. Second half action now, LTU up 10-5. Two freshmen connecting here as Damian Hudson fakes, drives, dishes to Weston Hoff, who finds the back of the net on a nice bounce shot. The Blue Devils led 11-5 going into the final quarter. Early in the fourth, LTU's man-up unit was in action after a Montreal penalty. Sophomore Dylan Couture up top feeds down to Oles, who makes a slick move tripping up his defender and taking the jump shot that just trickles past the Cavaliers keeper. Capping off the scoring for LTU on the day was sophomore Justin Light, firing off a laser from just inside the top of the box that finds Twine. The Blue Devils get their first dub of the 2019 season, defeating Montreal College 14-9 the final score. Hey, I'm Joe Alvord. Uh, I'm a senior architectural engineering student at Lawrence Tech, and I'm on the men's bowling team. A celebrity crush definitely has to be uh, Ariana Grande. I kind of grew up with her, like watching her on uh, TV, and it just kind of just kind of blossomed from there. Favorite TV show has to be Big Bang Theory. I feel like I relate to it, and uh, I really enjoy the humor on it. Favorite place to take a girl on a date has to be Shields. It's local, it's quiet, it's good food. I think the one thing on the bucket list I need to cross off is skydiving, but I think that's kind of pretty generic. I feel like it's an experience that everyone wants to have. We are here in West Palm Beach, Florida, where the Lawrence Tech Blue Devils take on the number five team in the nation, the Kaiser Seahawks, for some women's lacrosse. Let's start early in the first half with a little give and go action between the two juniors, Gabby Larkin and Anna Gagnon. Gagnon would score to put the Devils on the board first, scores one to zero. But here comes LTU as sophomore Kaylee Patterson slashes through the defense for the score. The Blue Devils jump to an early 2-0 lead. Midway through the first, the score is all knotted up at two. 
Larkin and Gagnon are back at it as Larkin runs behind the net and drops a nice pass to Gagnon who launches the ball into the net for the score. The Blue Devils take back the lead with a score of 3-2. Late in the first half, LTU tries to stop a massive run by the Seahawks that would once again come from Gagnon who is having herself a game. Assist goes to her partner in crime, Larkin. The score is 4-12 heading into halftime. Jumping late into the second half, LTU down big, but Larkin would sneak a nice underhand throw for the Blue Devils' first score of the half. Score is 5-16. Later in the half, Abby Barnwood catches a pass from Larkin and flips the ball in the net for her first score of the game. However, time was not on the Blue Devils' side, as they would lose a tough road game 6-18. LTU still looks for their first win of the season with a record of 0-5. Hey Blue Devil fans, I'm Jason Ross Jr. Coming up on the LTU Sports Report, we have highlights of our men's lacrosse team taking on the Cumberlands in the second game of their spring break trip, as well as our tip of the week from one of the softball team's finest. We'll be right back. I love working for Strike. I am genuinely excited to come to work every day. We support each other and look out for each other. I love Striker because we are like a family. At Stryker, I own my career. There are so many different places Stryker can take me in the next five years. Together with our customers, we are driven to make healthcare better. Great people with a strong mission and values can accomplish great things together. You've worked hard to raise your family and build a happy life for them. Don't let unforeseen circumstances jeopardize everything you've built. Planning for your future is a law firm that makes it easy and affordable to protect your family with estate planning, wills, trusts, deeds, power of attorney, minor, and elder care. The experts at Planning for Your Future will meet with you, prepare your documents, and make sure you understand what each does. So contact Planning for Your Future today to set up your free phone consultation. Because your future begins now. Since the dawn of man, storytelling has been the most effective and engaging means of communication. Whether gathered around the warm glow of a fireplace or the family television set, a compelling story has always moved people to action. At Yellow Flag Productions, the Emmy-winning storytellers behind our television programs are now helping clients create content that emphasizes their people and passions. Let us tell your story and share it with the world. Fundraising should be fresh, flavorful, and simple. We have the perfect solution at Hungry Howie's, Dough Razor. Your team or school can sell paper pizza certificates that can be redeemed for one medium pizza at participating locations. Hungry Howie's makes it easy. It's just a little mini pizza box, but we make lots of money, lots of dough. Go to doughraiser.com to learn more and sign up. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Welcome to Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. The men's lacrosse team has some high hopes for the season after bringing in a solid recruiting class. Let's check out how the talented young group did against the third-ranked Cumberland's team to close out their spring break trip. The Lawrence Tech men's lacrosse team continued their road trip facing the third-ranked University of the Cumberland's Patriots in a thriller of a game. Let's start in the first where senior Brandon Oles squares up his defender and takes him right to the net where he scores LTU's first goal of the game and ties it up at one apiece. Later on in the first, Justin Light jerks his defender on his way to the score and the Blue Devils would take the lead, score now 3-2. Jumping ahead to the third, sophomore Dylan Couture throws a bullet to sophomore Aiden Nolan for his first score of the game to start a small run for the Devils. About a minute later, freshman Maverick Musket hits his defender with a slick spin move, passes to Jacob Flood, and he would go on in for the score for his first goal of the game and the second in a row for LTU. Halfway through the third, sophomore Brandon Mullins threads the needle to Flood, who would score their third goal in a row. At the end of the third, LTU still found themselves down 9-6. to six. On to the fourth, where the Blue Devils hope to spark a comeback. Nolan hits the light with a nice assist, and he would bury his second goal of the game. LTU now down 11-9. With a minute 41 left on the clock, the Blue Devils down four. Oles, after spinning a couple of defenders, gives a nice pass to Flood, who would net the final goal of the game. Lawrence Tech would fall just short of Cumberland's 8-12, bringing the boys to 2-3 on the season.
Hi, I'm Brittany Bolt and I'm on the Lawrence Tech women's softball team. Um, I'm a junior and I'm studying civil engineering and I'm here to give you your tip of the day. But today I'm going to talk about hitting in softball. Now one of the first things we do is with our bat we like to line our knuckles up to make sure um, that you can get full out to extension. Another important aspect of hitting is our mentality and approach at the plate. Um, here at LTU we like to have a yes, yes, yes approach. So what that does is that gets us in the right mindset. Um, so that when we know we're going up to the plate, it's a yes, 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 we're swinging and we're putting all our power into that swing to make sure we can get a nice hit out of it. When we have two strikes, we like to choke up on the bat and um, move up in the box and we shorten up our swing to make sure that we're getting contact with the ball so that we can move runners around the bases and score runs. But with our follow through, what we really like to do is make sure we're getting to extension so we, that we can get the most power out of the ball. And when we get to extension, we always want to make sure for right-handed hitters that we're going to second base. Uh, Left-handed hitters, you're going to point to shortstop. Hey, thanks for watching today's tip of the day, and make sure you come and support Lawrence Tech Women's Softball. Time now to take a look inside Lawrence Technological University. Ever dreamed of learning how to design automobiles or other modes of transportation? Lawrence Technological University is the place to pursue your passion. Lawrence Tech has created a unique transportation design program that allows you to blend your creative design talent along with comprehensive understanding of automotive technology. I think the biggest advantage of going to Lawrence Tech for product design or trans design is that we work really closely with people in industry. There's always people from different companies walking around our studio. In the spring semester, there's plenty of opportunities for internship positions. This unique program offers many unique benefits. 100% of students enrolled in the transportation design program win internships in the industry. Students participate in company-sponsored projects all four years. All students are given a personal workspace in dedicated design studios led by industry designers and leaders. And top student designs are displayed at the North American International Auto Show, one of the biggest shows in the world. If you're interested in transportation and industrial design and you want to learn more about the degree programs offered at LTU, do yourself a huge favor and go to the website right now, ltu.edu. Find out how you can steer yourself onto the highway of your incredible future. A huge favor and go to ltu.edu. How you can steer yourself of your incredible future. I'm on the Blue Devil football team, and that's a great place to be because other colleges wouldn't let me be both a football player and a nursing student. And just because I'm a dog on the field doesn't mean I can't take care of people. And man, do I love people. The small class size of LTU give me awesome access to my nursing professors. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. Are you stuck in your job? Getting frustrated playing the waiting game for the next opportunity to advance your career? Let Blue Chip Talent help. As an award-winning talent acquisition company, our specialty is matching candidates with careers in IT and engineering. At Blue Chip Talent, we take a laser-focused approach to reaching your career goals. We have access to jobs you won't find anywhere else to help advance your career faster and easier. Plus, we take care of you. Employees receive industry-leading benefits and competitive perks. Don't waste another minute worrying because we are ridiculously good at advancing careers. Southfield truly is the ideal place to live, work, and play. Well, it's a very uh, exciting time in the city of Southfield. Great neighborhoods, great city services, and Fortune 500 companies. Southfield has something for everyone. Recognized as Michigan's premier business address, home to world-class educational institutions, voted one of the nation's most livable metro area suburbs. Southfield is the center of it all. Over the past couple of years, our football team has teamed up with Zenith, a football equipment company. Now, Zenith specializes in a lot of things, but most importantly, they specialize in helmets. We're here with the inside scoop on their newest model that you guys will get to see this fall out on the gridiron. But before that, let's see how our men's volleyball team fared against Bluefield University. The Lawrence Tech men's volleyball team looks to extend their four-game win streak against the Bluefield Rams in Virginia. 
Starting midway through the first, LTU down eight to 14. It would be the senior Lawrence Patton who sets up the freshman Calvin Ooms for the massive spike. Later in the set, LTU clawing their way back in. The Rams want no part of the ball as Ooms hits a bomb over the net to tie things up at 18. Looking to close out the set, Patton serves up the ball for the ace as Bluefield hits the ball sky high and out of bounds. The Blue Devils would go on to win the first set 25 to 20. On to the second set, the game is tied at seven, but the senior Javier Contreras would change that as he pounds the ball over the net for the score. The Blue Devils sit on a comfortable lead and a block by Contreras and Josh Eckert puts a stamp on the set. LTU wins the second set 25 to 22. On to the third set where LTU looks to close this game out. It would start early in the set. Ooms once again hits the ball up and over the net. The Rams try to return but to no avail. Both teams are knotted up at six. Later on in the set, Eckerd gets up and blasts a ball over the net for the score. The Blue Devils go on to win the third set, 25-17. LTU takes this game in three sets, extending their win streak to five and bringing their record to 15-12 on the season. It really all starts with our philosophy here at Zenith, which is putting the athlete at the center of everything that we do. And so with Zenith Shadow, it was no different. It was starting with the athlete and taking, you know, athlete insights about what they need for performance on the field. Um, and so taking that into, you know, rigorous design, engineering, and development to make sure that we're producing the best helmet for the athlete on the field. Zenith Shadow really was a great evolution of that product. Um, and so some of the insights are around comfort, fit, agility on the field, and making sure that we address all the those performance factors as well. And so the Zenith Shadow took a lot of that core X2E technology and really brought it to the next level. Um, and so examples being optimization of the shock uh, location, number, and placement in the, in the helmet to really enhance that impact performance. And then also looking at pressure distribution, so making sure that that fit and the comfort um, is really you know, an excellent experience for the athlete on the field, giving them that all game comfort. And it starts with the athlete and really they're, they're the red thread that that runs throughout the process. So it's driven by Athlete Insights, which you know our design team takes in-house and does a great job of bringing those to life and actually solving a real problem for the athlete, right? And making sure that we deliver the best experience for them. Uh, from there, we go into really rigorous engineering to make sure that it's, you know, it's performing really well as we want. Um, and then getting, there's sort of this continuous sort of iteration loop that we do with the athlete as well. So sharing product prototypes, concepts, and so forth with the athlete to ensure that it resonates with them, it's fitting well, um, you know, it's looking good, that's an important consideration as well, of course, right? Um, so they're, they're, they're a constant part of that process. Um, and then, you know, from engineering, we're in the lab making sure that, you know, as we're drop testing these helmets and, and putting them through kind of a rigorous battery of tests that it's performing uh, in, in a top performing way. Certainly kind of the standardized tests that you see with the NFL and Virginia Tech are an extremely important data point. And, you know, we're really intentional about having great performance on those tests. I think it's important to recognize that it, it is one data point among many, right? And so there are a lot of factors that we consider, again, starting with the athlete as our kind of central focus. Lab performance is one thing, but how that translates to the field is, is really important for us. And so making sure we're addressing factors that really matter to them, like fit, which is really important for protection and comfort, uh, the balancing of the weight uh, to make sure that they have a really great experience on the field. And you can have the, the best performing helmet out there, but if it doesn't if it doesn't look good, I mean, let's be honest, nobody wants to wear it, right? And so it's, it's, a, it's a balancing act of, of getting the form and the function right um, and making sure that it resonates with the athlete. And that's part of that process, right, is getting that athlete feedback uh, in real time as we're going through that process to ensure that, you know, we're dealing with the functionality internally through our rigorous engineering, but also making sure that our styling is really, is really hitting home with the athlete. It's hugely valuable. We talk a lot about passion, purpose, and pride here at Zenith, and we love having partners like LTU that share those same core values, right? And having, having somebody that we can you know, have a real-time interaction with and get, get real-time kind of feedback about product on the field, understand kind of some of the problems that athletes might have on the field, and how we as Zenith might be able to to address that with great product. We're about to turn it on.
have a pair of home matches at Franklin Athletic Club. One on Wednesday the 20th versus Clear University at 12.30 p.m. and another on Saturday the 23rd at 5 p.m. Men's volleyball is back home on Wednesday the 20th for a game versus Siena Heights at 7 p.m. On Saturday the 23rd, both golf teams begin play at the Heritage Hill Golf Club through Sunday. Women's lacrosse is home to face Siena Heights University at 1 p.m. Baseball has a doubleheader versus Indiana Tech. Game one is at 1 p.m. Men's lacrosse is back home versus Aquinas College. Game starts at 4.30 p.m. On Sunday, softball travels to Ohio to play Rio Grande. Game one is at noon. For all the game matchups and times, visit our athletic website. Well, that's it this week on another exciting episode of the L2 Sports Report. But coming up next week, our teams return back to Southfield to take on some of the top conference opponents. For more Blue Devil action from Lawrence Tech Sports, be sure to follow LT Athletics on all social media platforms for daily updates, highlights, and stories of our teams at LTU Athletics. And make sure to join us right here on Fox Sports Detroit next week, Monday at 4.30. And until then, I'm Gabe O'Neill. And I'm Jenna Skelski. We'll see you guys next week. LTU Sports Report is brought to you by Varsity Brands, elevating student experiences in sport, spirit, and achievement. The city of Southfield, the center of it all. Michigan First Credit Union, Hungry Howie's Dough Razor, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust, and Striker. Discover your strengths and follow your passion with us. <laughs>